Welcome to my world. Come on in. My name is Colleen Liz Frost and I am so happy to have you here live on the Facebook and I am going to be on Facebook for a while because I can download the videos and I'm learning how to do that on the YouTube. So I hope that I can keep them here for a little while and then continue from there. My name is Colleen and I'm in development and you are on my pre pre launch and I'm excited to be here. I am here to confess tonight. Today is Saturdays. It is the getting ready day. And today it happened again. I have an addiction. It is an extreme addiction. And it started over time. Um, it was um, inspired by my mother. And I'm going to tell you how it happens. And this is a one time confession. And from now on, if you want to be a part of this addiction, um, if you have your own addiction, I'm going to tell you how you can be a part of it, but not tonight because, again, it happened again today. And when your addiction strikes you, as those of you who have an addiction will know, it's an all-out, all-day thing. <laughs> it's quite consuming. So welcome, and I want to start with Vincent Van Gogh has said, I would rather die of passion than of boredom. And there was a man that so knows who I am. I am a writer. I am an author of a book. And the book is called If You Only Had One Year. It is a mother's mission to the National Register of Historic Places while in remission. And boy, did he nail what happened to me correctly. Because my passion almost killed me. And it is in the book, the story, and I will share that um, later. But I will tell you that to be addicted is like, for me, the definition of having a passion. And you have to start it with the balance of the seven days. And if you don't pick your passion or your addiction, um, your addiction will pick you. And my mother said, when you are lonely, bored, tired, depressed, or too happy, we're going to pick something to do at that moment and then with time you will find yourself when you're an adult if you get lonely bored tired depressed you will reach out to those things and you might just find yourself becoming addicted to it and so today I had such a wonderful call from my son and these calls that you get for no reason are the best calls of all and today we went over our addictions and how you know, and like for myself today, I was telling him how I just miss having a hug. And he used to come in the kitchen and hug me and thank him, thank me for his addictions. And he says, Mom, I'm never bored. He says, even for the minute when I get bored, he says, I just go back to my addictions and I pull something out of my hat. And oh, I just, we just laughed about all the different addictions that we've had and how they'd keep us up late at night. And so I will tell you that today, I have a friend, she works for my dad, and we got going on our crafting addiction. And today she brought up that she knows how to do bubble paint, bubble wrap painting. <laughs> I just about passed out in my kitchen because you see, I am addicted to arts and crafts. And behind me on my wall, as you can tell, that it kind of goes over the top. Behind me, I have my son's. Uh, little wall from our online school that we've done and um, when I get phone core let me tell you it becomes you know an addiction and when I I am building a digital home for you all to come and I will be giving, giving you a tour of homes and from you know designing my own little arts and crafts it does remind me of when I had my son however I'm building this extreme home for my future grandkids so I have my first guest coming to do a arts and craft for you. And it just went on like this all day. So this is why I'm hoping and I'm hopeful that when I take you to one of the special rooms in my home, that we can have these little uh, guest people come on. If you have a hobby or if you have an addiction of your very own, I hope you send me an email because you might just be able to be one of my guests. And I'm going to design a special menu for our AAA meetings 
because as you know, in restaurants, they do have those back of the room meetings. And we will have an oath and we will have all these special things arranged and they will be held in private. Because as many of you know, when you are a true addict, these things are sometimes better left behind closed doors. So I hope that you will look forward to the invitations. And I know that when the word spreads, just how fun our outfits will be, trust me, you'll want to be a part of this club. And if you are brave enough to be interviewed for my podcast, then perhaps you will share your addictions. Because I believe if we teach our children how to become interested in something, that perhaps their passions will grow. And just maybe, when they get lonely, bored, tired, and depressed, they will reach out for that book and they will become book readers with such passion that they will be reading all hours of the night. Or maybe they will absolutely collect ribbon like I have in my storage sheds. And just maybe if they like cars, they will be able to collect, um, you know, parts and build their own. I mean, whatever your passions are, I want you to share them. If you like, I know a woman who has pug dogs, or they're called uh, French bulldogs. And I mean, she loves them like I've never seen. And I also like to clean. I'm, it's part of my mourning process as I have lost my mother. And I'm, I'm addicted to it. So, you know, you don't have to just have one addiction. And I was so addicted to Legos. Um, it was, you know, I took all my kitchen uh, muffin tins, anything that would hold a Lego for sorting. And it was extreme. And we let very few people in our Lego storage area. And then I met my girlfriend's uh, son. And we thought we had an addiction. This young man turned his addiction into a career. And he now has one of the largest Lego business on the eBay.com. So I have met some very interesting addicted individuals that are very rare indeed. And my passion for this home, this digital home, is to place these rare people on my digital map. So I want to share these people with you, but I also want to give them their own backstage pass to the club AAA. So there's lots to come on my digital home. And to have passion with a purpose is how I was raised. I played Division I basketball and I was taught that to be a loser was a loser. So I was in it for the win. I ended up losing everything at our opera house when I was on a mission while in remission. And I gained a team of people though who fell in love with history. And sometimes losing everything makes you work harder on, on preserving the things you love the most. And I did that with a family who gave me the passion for arts and crafts and friends who paint with bubble wrap. So today, I realized that I did surrender the battle. And when my family kidnapped me and took me to Italy, that day that I finally realized I lost and laid on the pavement in front of our depot at four in the morning, I realized that I almost did die that night. But when they took me and, and kidnapped me to Italy and I came back home and laid on the couch for six months, well, that story is in the book. But I will tell you this that I appreciate you liking my videos and I hope that you share them with the addicts in your life who have inspired you with their passions for the things that they believe in. And I believe in Staples and I believe in history, but I also believe that tomorrow could, we could find new passions and these passions will hopefully inspire us to never be bored again. So remember me, number 33 and I want to thank my friend today Terry who absolutely lit up my day and my son who laughed my days away today 
with all his joy of his history. And he hugged me from a distance and that just made it so wonderful. So thank you for your time and sincerely, I hope you see me again tomorrow. Because what day is tomorrow? Well, it's Sunday and I have some problems to put on the table. That's my confession for tonight.